Yeah. So another day that we are continuing with our revision on business data analysis. And today we are looking at a question on a common size financial statement or analyzing financial statement using the common size financial statements. And we shall just go through some few notes here. And uh, what is common size financial statement? A common size financial statement is a financial statement or balance sheet that presents itself as a percentage of the base number of sales or assets. So when we talk about common size, we are presenting all the line items either as a percentage of sales, this one is normally for the income statement, and financial statement as a percentage of total sales. The process of creating a common size financial statement is known as a common size analysis or vertical analysis. The financial statements reports on as equity, assets, liability as a percentage of total assets. So we shall be converting the values into percentages of total assets. A financial statement like fees gives the analyst an easier time when analyzing the profit of the company at a different period. Then how is common size financial statement used? Note that most companies do not use common size format to report their financial statement. Comparing two different companies in different economic sectors can be easier when using common size financial statements. So for comparison, that's why we are using it to analyze either performance of different companies in the same sector or in different sectors. Using percentages, it allows one to see changes in values over time. Managers can also use the data to come up with new operations strategies. Yeah, balance sheets, income statement, and cash flows are examples of common size financial statement. Then, let me just highlight this and increase. Okay. Okay. So, so we continue. The types you can or financial statement. You can either create a common size balance sheet statement of financial position common size income statement or common size cash flow statement. So the limitation of a cash flow or common size financial statement in general, financial statement presents various limitations due to different interpretation when constructing the data. The limitations include the first one here is that companies using varying accounting policies and generating financial statement at different time. The same company could also be using different policies. The financial analysts need to adjust the data to ensure that they are using the same policies to generate financial statements. So for ease of comparison, the assumption is companies must be using the same accounting policies. If the accounting policies are not the same, then it will not be easier for us to perform the comparability between the two companies. Number two, the second limitation is that difficulty when comparing accounting period as the companies may be using dissimilar accounting calendars. Inconsistency in the preparation of financial statement makes the common size aspect irrelevant when evaluating the performance of a firm. So if firms are using different accounting year, maybe one company A is using January to December, company B is using July to June. Yeah. So when you look at those differences, eh, then it will not be you will not have that time uh, for doing the comparison. And uh, the third one is that common size financial statement do not provide concrete information to its users when there are fluctuations in different financial components here. Yeah, whenever there are fluctuations, then it will not provide enough information. So the types that you can have, common size analysis can be conducted in two ways. The first one is vertical analysis, here vertical and horizontal analysis. Vertical analysis refers to the analysis of a specific line item in relation to a base item within the same financial so for the vertical, we deal with the same financial period. We are preparing analysis for income statement, one particular financial period, financial statement, one particular financial period. For example, in the balance sheet, we can assess the proportion of inventory by dividing the inventory line item by total assets as the base item. On the other hand, horizontal analysis refers to the analysis of specific line item and comparing them to a similar line item in the previous or subsequent financial period. Although common size analysis is not a detailed as trend analysis using ratios, it does provide a simple way for financial managers to analyze financial statements. So when you talk about the horizontal, we are comparing now different financial years uh, with the base year. 
assuming we are doing the projections for five years we can do projection we compare year five with year one which was our base year we compare if it is an income statement all the items will be expressed as a percentage of sales for the base year financial statement all line items uh, will be expressed as a percentage of total assets of the base year and when you are doing that particular comparison now we can be able now to have a meaningful interpretation so remember there too whether you're dealing with vertical for one particular year or you're dealing with horizontal when you're dealing with several years either we are dealing with the past years or projected years that we are having and that one now we can be able to get the meaningful interpretation of our data so now we look at uh, the question here to illustrate that so given that the financial statement of two entities as of that april 2022 are shown below so you have the statement of profit or loss as a 30th april so you have able limited and you have cedar limited yeah those are the items that have been given and uh, we have the statement of financial position here for the same period for the two companies when you are told required common size statement of profit or loss for the two entities and common size statement of financial position as a 30th and advise the directors of uh, dragon limited in the best company to for takeover so they are contemplating taking over either abo or cedar so when we do the common size then we shall advise which company to take so i'll prepare here my common size income statement common size income statement common size statement statement of uh, profit or loss monthly statement of profit or loss okay so you shall have elbow uh, and cedar elbow and uh, cedar okay yeah elbow and cedar limited we just need to express uh, them as percentage of sales so here shall put this over the same value yeah over the same value and uh, so this one i will convert it into percentage yeah which will be 100 100 percent for the first year when you come to the second uh, it will be these over these and you divide by this and we lock because these are now will be a constant uh, i'll full lock that and i put that and again i'll highlight this to be percentage I need to format this into percentages and i can drag this hoping it will be able now to pick all the other values that way because all of them we are preparing them as a percentage of as a percentage of uh, the sales here as a percentage of sales and uh, even this side uh, no so for the second company now i'll put this over not that uh, so sales for the second period divided by the same sales now i'll full lock this value full lock is a four and i will enter 100 percent and i will feed i'll auto lock uh, i'll auto fill that we'll get the percentages for all the others so remember we have said when you're dealing with the common size financial statement we are expressing the values uh, yeah our income statement we are expressing them as a percentage of sales as a percentage of sales and the financial position as a percentage of uh, total assets so you're done with the income statement income statement or statement of financial position that's our common size financial statement so you go to the second common size common size uh, statement of financial position financial position 
of on site statement of financial position and we shall have for Ebo and uh, for Cedar for Cedar Limited Ebo and Cedar and we are expressing them again here is as a percentage of total total assets as a percentage of total assets so I'll pick this property I divide by our total assets and we shall full lock the total assets total assets will be fully locked and I'll put equals and I will format this area yeah this area up to that to be in percentage form to be in percentage form and uh, because I have auto locked that I will auto fill this yeah already so the others yeah that so those will be our our percentages our percentages for that then for the second shall take this over total total assets and again if we lock that value you enter and you auto fill that yeah that way whereby you just to eliminate that you can put zero there yeah so that to eliminate the to eliminate the errors uh, that it is putting just yes, include zeros and it will eliminate those and those are our percentages uh, that we have that we have so you can see that yeah that way and here you can still use that yeah. so that is our percentages when you look at the income statement uh, you will note that under the income statement Ebo was performing well in terms of the profitability it was having 14 percent while Cedar was having only 8 percent in terms of gross profit still is performing well 24 percent and 18 percent in terms of operating it has 19 percent so automatically if we are to advise based on profitability, Ebo Limited is performing well compared to CEDA Limited. When it comes to financial position, yeah, the non-current assets for Ebo it has got 50%, but for CEDA has got 54%. But when you consider, when you look at Kindly, the CEDA Limited, you will note that it has an asset that we are calling right of user. Yeah, this one is one that they have sold, sell and lease back, sell and lease back transaction. So this one is not our own you just have the right to use the 26 percent it means what they own is only 28 percent yeah so this one has more assets compared to this uh, other one and uh, so we can eliminate this okay then when it comes to yeah there are some percentages it was including which are irrelevant um when it comes to current assets yeah current assets you can see yeah 17 in terms of inventory 18 22 27 but bank we have more cash flow liquidity compared to seda limited because ebo has 11 percent when it comes to shares yeah shares uh for the shares you can use the top border shares we have 32 equity and this one has got 29 so equity uh, able limited as more equity owned yeah compared to these other and again when it comes to lease liability non current liability yeah this one has got 47 percent but this one has got 48 yeah 48 percent because of the item of lease lease liability yeah lease liability so this one has got less liability trade pair above 13 11 uh, lease we don't have this one they have current tax so by the end of the day when you look at the two companies yeah uh, you will find that able limited is more uh, active or uh, it's good in terms of profitability in terms of asset so our advisor we shall advise them to go ahead 
and take over able limited compared to CEDA limited so it's less risky acquiring able limited even in terms of yeah even in terms of uh, liability so it will become less risky to acquire um, able limited and that's how common size is being done just remember points to note um, when you're dealing with common size for statement of uh, profit or loss yeah statement of profit or loss to me profit so profit or loss we are expressing them as a percentage of total total uh, total sales yeah percentage of total sales this is what you're calling the vertical because you're just dealing with one particular yeah so you express them as a percentage of total sales while for the statement of financial position we are expressing them as a percentage of total total assets and that's why you're finding total assets are adding up to 100 percent total assets are adding up 100 percent each and every line item will be expressed as a percentage of uh, total assets and you'll find that it is easy now to do an interpretation of these two statements uh, when you are using the percentages as compared to addressing it or analyzing it based on absolute values and that's how this analysis is done using the common size financial statement ensure you subscribe for more content in this particular channel